Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And if you're wondering where I'm at right now, um, you know what, let me give you guys a little preview as to what my view looks like. As the video goes on, I'll also show you some other shots of this beautiful location. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm in Dominican Republic, specifically Punta Cana. For those of you who are not familiar, Dominican Republic is in the Caribbean. Uh, we share the island with Haiti. And I'll put something up on the screen here so you can see exactly where it is. But Punta Cana is all the way to the east of the island. So this is typically a touristic spot. Uh, folks here come to have vacation, have a good time, relax, do all kinds of different things. But um, while I'm here uh, enjoying with my family, there's still some conversations that I wanted to have with you all. And specifically, a conversation around money. And by the way, uh, I do apologize if there's any wind noise, but again, it's a little windy out today. So Dominican Republic is where we're from. And one of the things that I always remembered growing up as a kid was the hard work that my parents instilled in me. And it's the one thing that I'm very, very thankful for. Now, as I got here and I got off the plane, you can see the hustle and bustle. People were asking for, you know, if you want to ride on a taxi, if you want uh, anybody to help you out with your luggage, Right, everybody is working hard just to make, you know, ends meet over here. And don't get me wrong, you can live very good in Dominican Republic if you have resources. But also as well, if you don't have resources, it is going to be a very difficult time here. And this country is a great reminder of the mentality and the hunger that you need to have in order to succeed anywhere in life. And it's interesting because my family, when we got picked up from the airport, we were having conversations with the driver. And the driver was letting me know that, you know, he works very, very hard, of course, right? Like everybody else. But it's interesting to hear his situation compared to what it's like in the United States and get an idea of what the differences are. And just so you guys know what his situation was like, he makes 400 US dollars per month. And I'm not joking, you guys heard that correctly. 400 US dollars per month. He was also uh, sharing his work schedule, how many hours he works, how many days he works. But to let you guys know how much he works, he works 26 days on and six days off. So let me say that one more time for those who are saying, wow, we need to work four days a week or three days a week. People over here, especially this guy that I was specifically talking to, works 26 days straight. And his hours varied, he said. He said they varied between anywhere between 9 to 13, 14 hours. And his hours vary on the demand. So for example, he works from transporting people back and forth from the airport to their destination. So because he's dependent on transferring people from the airport, you can quickly realize that he's also dependent on the airlines. So he was explaining how there are some times where, let's say a flight is scheduled to come in at 9 p.m. at night. Let's say there's a two hour delay. The plane really arrives at 11. You can't just say, hey, look, uh, the plane is delayed. I'm going back home. I'll see everybody tomorrow. No, he has to wait the two hours and he has to bring people to their destination. And then on top of that, he doesn't get to go home and stop working until the job is done. It reminds me of just the mentality that you gotta have to be successful in the United States or just anywhere in the world, to be quite honest. And it's that hunger, that drive to succeed. Now, the opportunities that you get in the United States are incredible. And one of the things that I'm so thankful for, especially for my family in making the decision to go to the United States when I was very little, over here, the opportunities are not as plentiful as you would get in the United States. Well, let me give you an example. 
as we're driving to our destination, one of the most interesting things, and of course, I'm already used to this because I've seen this a lot, but for those of you who may never seen this, one of the interesting things that kids do here to make a few bucks to help out their parents is they'll randomly go you know, to a, a truck or a car and they will randomly start cleaning your windshields. And they'll take off all the dirt, they'll make sure your window's nice and clean, just so that way they can make some money. And in fact, actually, you know, if it sounds a little far-fetched, I mean, you can see it for yourself. We're driving, we come to a stoplight, and out of nowhere, these three kids came up to our, our uh, vehicle and they started squirting some kind of soapy water, right? And it's funny because as they're, as they're actually starting to clean, they're creating, you know, little figures on the windshield. So I think one of them did a heart. The other one did like a smiley face or, or something along those lines. And then the one kid did a little dance for us, which I thought was kind of interesting and funny. You know, something to make your day a little brighter. Um, and then the hopes too is, is that this is not something where you know, you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to make money. So for example, as you see in the video, they're hoping that you tip them. And the hopes is, is that it's somewhat of a good tip in order for them to buy food or clothing, or maybe even help out their family. And so just to give you some perspective, the gentleman that we were in the uh, vehicle with, he made $400 per month. And that was with a company and driving us back and forth and all kinds of other stuff, right? These kids, they don't have no company. They don't have anything. They strictly depend on tourism, right? People come in here and tipping. And I even asked our driver just to get an idea of what he would say. But our driver says that they make roughly around three US dollars per day is what you can expect. Can you imagine only making three or four US dollars per day? Where do you think you'll be in life? How do you think you can get ahead? What kind of future do you think you can build for yourself only making three or four US dollars per day? I mean, yeah, I understand that the cost of living is not the same and everything's, you know, a little bit cheaper here, but it's not too far off, meaning that it's, it's kind of difficult to get ahead. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna continue with my walk. I'm gonna continue having a good time with the family. Uh, more importantly to uh, be able to have my family see where we came from. And when I say my family, I mean my two kids. I need them to understand what life really is like. But while I'm here, I also wanna share with you all what it's like outside of your norm. You know, you don't know what you don't know until you go out and you see what's out there. And I've been fortunate enough throughout my life to be able to go outside of the country, all over the US, see how different people live, see what it takes in order to succeed. And I'll tell you right now, this whole thing about getting free handouts, uh, forgiving student loans, working less, it's really a detriment to yourself, to your character. It's not allowing you to grow as an individual. It's not allowing you to learn the lessons that you need to learn in order to get to the next steps. So anyways, I wanna take the time to just show you guys a little bit of what's going on in my world. I hope that this video has given you some insights. I hope this video has given you the opportunity to see what it's like outside of the United States, what kind of money people make outside of the United States, specifically um, here in the Dominican Republic. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want this video to be a little skewed. Not everyone here only makes $400, US dollars that is. There's a lot of people who make a lot of money but there's also a lot of people who don't make a lot of money and they live very very poor at least in the united states i think you have that that safety net of the government so if you found value in the video go ahead and give me a like for the video make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out when we upload videos to the channel go ahead and share the video with a family member or friend let them see what it's like to only make 
400 US dollars, right? Or how hard these people have to work in order to get things done from their perspective. Because the idea is, is you live in one of the greatest countries in the world with an incredible amount of opportunity. Go out there, seize the opportunity, make something happen, and turn your life into everything that you want it to be. Now, besides liking the video, subscribing to the channel with turning on your notifications, of course, and sharing the video, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did you guys ever even knew this was a thing? I know I've never seen that in the United States, only in Dominican Republic, of course. Would you guys ever want to live a life where you're only making 400 US dollars and have to live on that? Just kind of curious on what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, I'm going to head back inside. It's a little hot out here or maybe even go to the pool. Not really sure yet, but I will see everybody in the next video. So stay tuned to the channel.